Ex-weapon shop owner, trained into the all-crushing fist, Soros, is a rushdown character who mainly uses close-range attacks to force RPS situations. Using an assortment of punch attacks, Soros can close the gap between him and the opponent either in neutral or block strings. Forcing these close-range engagements puts the opponent in uncomfortable situations with the threat of plus moves, frame traps, and an armor stance that increases Soros' defense. Soros is perfect for players who want all-in aggression and make good reads on the opponent's defense. Soros has a passive defense buff called Manliness. At the start of each round, Soros will start with one stack of Manliness, a buff that decreases the damage Soros takes while using his Super Skybound Art install or Muscle Fury. Soros' unique action is Muscle Fury. Pressing U will put Soros into a stance that has armor against all move properties except grabs. This stance can be held for 2 seconds, allowing Soros to take multiple hits. This armor does not nullify damage from the moves absorbed, but will instead decrease the damage taken. The damage reduction increases with higher Manliness stats. Every hit that Soros tanks grants him 1 stack of manliness. At 1 stack, Soros takes 70% damage. Each stack increases the damage reduction by 10%, maxing out at 30%. Any normal attack and forward while in stance goes into reactive muscles, a close range attack that covers both sides of Soros. This follow-up can be activated at any time during stance, but is mainly used to counter opponents running in thinking they can take their turn. You can also use this as a late anti air On hit and on the ground, opponents will be knocked down and Soros gets his turn. 236, Impact Knuckles, is a horizontal dash punch used to close the gap, combo, and end block strings. The distance traveled increases with the strength of the normal. The light version is Soros' go-to block string ender and mid-range poke. This move is negative 3 on block and pushes the opponent away far enough for most far lights to win. With the opponent in the corner, you can attempt to catch forward movements with this move. The medium version has the slowest startup of all the versions, but travels a good distance and is plus 1 on block. From mid-screen, this is one of your engaged tools. You can also use this after poking the opponent with far normals and test their reactions. The heavy version has the same startup as the light version, is also negative 3 on block, and a corner carry and combo tool. From mid-screen, this is one of Soros' fastest attacks used to poke and catch opponents moving forward. The ultimate version is a full-screen dash punch that has super armor, wall bounces mid-screen, and is one of Soros' best tools for catching projectiles or opponents moving forward. Use far heavy to combo, and use either raging chain for damage, or 2 and 4 heavy if you don't have the meter. 623, Roundhouse Fang, has Soros perform a fast upwards kick that acts as a pseudo anti air, surprise engage, and combo tool. All these moves are unsafe on block, being negative 7 on the light and heavy version, and minus 9 on the medium. The light version is a fast kick in place. You can use this move on whiff to build a little meter and cancel into another 623 or other special to catch your opponent off guard. The medium version has the same startup as the light version and moves Soros slightly forward. The heavy version comes out at 6 frames and is mainly used to either end combos mid-screen or extend combos in the corner. The ultimate version is Soros' invincible reversal. The hard knockdown gives Soros enough time to side swap with roll and still follow up with a meaty. 2 and 4, Punch the Stars, has Soros perform a flurry of punches and is another combo and block string tool. The light version moves Soros slightly forward and is minus 1 on block. This is a safe block string ender that puts Soros closer to the opponent than 236 light. The medium version has slower startup but moves Soros further than the light version and is also minus 1 on block. Use this version on far normals to catch mashing. The heavy version is plus 1 on block and can be used to either combo or stay up close to the opponent. You can only extend combos off the special on airborne opponents. On hit and grounded opponents, you will be plus 5. And if used on block, you can use close medium to beat out light normals. The ultimate version has the same startup as the light and heavy version and goes into a cinematic combo ender on hit. This move is also plus 4 on block and is another special used to maintain your turn and chip your opponent out. 2 2, Rock Smash, summons a close range pillar of fire that can beat out single hit projectiles, frame trap, reset pressure, and another combo tool. The light version is negative 2 on block and used as a safe combo and block string ender. In the corner, you can use this special off the close normals or auto combo to frame trap and confirm off the counter hit. The medium version is significantly slower at 28 frames. However, Soros will be plus 8 on block. This is a high risk, high reward pressure reset tool that leaves no room for mashing. The heavy version has the fastest startup of all the versions and is plus 4 on block. If done from mid screen, Soros will get pushed far enough for only far medium to connect. The ultimate version has Soros sneak into the air before going into a plus 4 on block punch. This move can be used to shimmy and bait out the opponent's throw tech. This gives you a combo opportunity both mid screen and in the corner. Soros' skybound art is Leaping Tiger Charging Dragon. Soros will go for a 2 hit punch attack on hit and block. This move is in bone frames 1 to 14, making it a close range reversal. Soros' super skybound art is Macho Ultimatum. This is an install super that grants Soros multiple buffs, which include a faster dash, 
defense buff based on manliness stacks, extra damage on special moves, and follow-up attacks on 2 4 special, Tenacious Will, and Bravado Bullet. You usually want to activate the super from full mid screen, since there are no iframes at the beginning. This insult does not use any meter and lasts until the end of the round. Soros also has access to a second super sky mount art, Way of the Fungongshi Fist. This is a command grab super that can also be comboed into. This move also has iframes during the startup of the move, and the opponent cannot jump, dodge, or DP during the super flash animation. In install, Soros has two additional follow up attacks on Punch the Stars. 2 and 4 during Punch the Stars, Tenacious Will, is a slow attack that guard crushes. In the corner, Soros can combo into close light. 2 3 6 during Punch the Stars, Bravado Bullet, is another dash attack that travels 3 fourths of the screen. The recovery of this move is dependent on spacing. At max range, Soros is minus 3. At close range, Soros is minus 8. You can cancel into this follow up on Whip, but this is still a niche tool when compared to 2 3 6 U. Using 2 and 4 U will automatically go into both the Guard Crush and Kick follow up. If using a block string, this forces the opponent to use a Brave Counter, as there is no gap to use reversals. Soros is a deadly rushdown character that puts the opponent in many RPS situations. Your first goal is to close the distance in any way possible, whether it be 2 3 6 specials, smart movement, or having your opponent back themselves up. For being a close range fighter, Soros has many far reaching normals that cover a good amount of ground and airspace. These moves include 2 medium, far medium, and far heavy. 2 medium is a good disjointed low to the ground kit that has the fastest startup of all the 3 normals at 7 frames. You can use this off of tech grabs or 2 through 6 specials on block to catch your opponent trying to take their turn. Far medium is an 8 frame startup kick that is a general poke tool. Far Heavy has the slowest startup at 11 frames, but is air unblockable and used to catch opponents trying to jump away. Especially in the corner, you can combo into 2 and 4 Heavy, which will confirm. Whenever you use a negative move on block, such as 2 6 Light, you have to analyze how your opponent reacts first and respond accordingly. After 2 6 Light, you can walk back first to stay out of range of most normals. If your opponent whiffs a close range move, thinking they can punish, you can whiff punish them with 2 Medium, Far Medium, or Far Light. If your opponent starts to run up, thinking they can take the turn, then you can start using Far Light after using 2 3 6 Light on block. If your opponent is waiting for 2 3 6 Light at the end of block strings, you can try to sneak in a 2 3 6 Medium for the plus frames and maintain your turn. Whenever you go for plus on block moves, such as 2 and 4 Heavy, Soros now has more conditioning tools that forces the opponent to guess. Guessing incorrectly could lose the game. Knowledge check the opponent and claw out their match. A standard Far Light or 2 Medium should do the job and result in a counter hit. Once the opponent respects the plus frames, you can run up and go for grab. And if your opponent starts to expect a grab and reacts to the dash up, use down that ultimate to shimmy. And of course, if the opponent is playing out of range, scared of 2 through 6 specials, dash light is a fast engage to close the gap. With a combination of plus specials, you can also try to chip your opponents out. Manliness is not a crucial buff to build up. If you plan to use Masha Ultimatum, then there are some situations where you want to use Muscle Fury. Armor through single hit projectiles from full screen. Armor air normals and punish your opponent's landing, armor on your negative on block specials if they use a far normal, or react to mid-hit engages. Macho Ultimatum is a situational super that does grant access to new tools and buffs, but it should not be a top priority. Even though you lose no meter for using it, you should always focus on your ultimate moves and positional advantage before going into the super. If you are being zoned out and aren't being heavily pressured, then you can go into the super. Soros has no projectiles, he has to rely on his 2-6 specials and regular movements to close the gap on you. If you have a projectile and Soros does not have 50 meter, do not just spam. Throw out this fireball at random times to catch out 2-6 medium or heavy. Soros' regular 2-6 moves do not have armor. Characters with projectiles control a lot of ground space and make it harder for Soros to get in safely. If Soros does have 50 meter, be careful of a fast reaction to a fireball. If you see the startup of any 2-6 move, you can respond with either a reversal or dodge. Soros has no invincible reversal until he has 50 meter. Until then, you can space yourself properly and poke with your own far reaching normals. Soros will have to challenge your pressure and fall for other character setups. If Soros does use 6 3 ultimate, just remember it is a 2 hit reversal. Punish him after the down kick. If Soros uses Muscle Fury, you can still block, dodge, or with punish the follow up attack. Especially at around mid screen range, you can throw Soros if he uses Muscle Fury or wait for reactive muscles and with punish him. If you have a reversal, here are some moves to challenge 2 3 6 medium, 2 2 light or medium, and 2 and 4 medium. If you see the animation for 2 3 6 or 2 and 4 light and are holding forward for the DP, you will auto block so there is no risk of getting hit. Some Soros players to watch are Sorix, Senkaru, Darkrai, and Buchin Kuki.